Singapore. Rugby fans, welcome to Singapore, the Lion City. It's small on the map, but as you can see behind me, it's pretty big on ideas. We're here for a two episode series to cover first of all the Singapore Cricket Club Sevens, the oldest Sevens tournament in Asia, and secondly the HSBC Asian Sevens Series Leg 4, which is a do or die effort. Who can win, Hong Kong or Japan, or can someone else take this title? G'day rugby fans, welcome back. We're here with Mark Lonsoneur. He's the chairman of the organising committee of this fabulous tournament in its 66th year. Mark, tell us a little bit about the tournament and the history. Well, this tournament is a legend in Singapore. Uh, first, it, in, uh, it is organised in a really unique location, downtown Singapore on the Padang. That's a 66th edition uh, and we are basically perpet perpetuate the tradition of this great tournament. We have about 20 teams coming from 11 countries uh, with uh, you know, teams like uh, Auckland, Pacific Dragons, uh, uh, North Sydney Silverbacks, French national teams, Impala from Kenya, uh, very competitive. Uh, it is not an uh, 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 IRB tournament, but in terms of quality and level of play, it's very close. And you've had a few famous players here over the years? Yeah, we have uh, famous players. Uh, we have Justin Marshall, Daniel Curran, uh, Tana Umaga, uh, uh, John Alomu when he was uh, very young. Uh, it's a fabulous tournament. What goes into making this tournament so successful? Well, I think it's a tournament organized by volunteers. I mean, we're all members of the Singapore Cricket Club from the rugby section. Uh, we, we, have, uh, we, know, we have been playing for this club. So it's first a commitment to the club, a commitment to the tradition. And, uh, you know, we had a great uh, mix of uh, sponsors, public teams. Uh, and again, Singapore and this location is very unique. Yeah, thanks very much, Mark. And one last question. Where can we get a beer? Uh, everywhere. You know, you have a lot of bars and you've got some uh, free uh, uh, Guinness available right now. Free Guinness. Thanks very much and good luck. Thanks. Okay, I'm down here with Al and Nick from the Tanglins Rugby Club. Uh, Al has won the under 10s medal today. Look at that medal, nice and shiny there. Uh, congratulations, Al. How does it feel to win the medal today? Feels good. Feels good. Uh, how long have you been playing rugby? I've been playing since under five. Under five, that's good. And um, what do you enjoy most about playing rugby? Scoring tries. Scoring tries, good man. And this is Father Nick and Coach Nick. This looks like a really excellent tournament today. Hey Grant, yeah, it's excellent. Yeah, it's great for the boys to come down and uh, you know see the professionals playing and get on the pitch before them in front of a good crowd. So it's great for the boys to get a chance to do that. Yeah. Good stuff. Congratulations again, and enjoy the rest of the day. Knox, it's very good to see you down here. Um, you've been in the role now of technical director with the Singapore Rugby Union for 18 months. Uh, what's been happening and what are you trying to achieve with Singapore Rugby? Uh, yeah, 18 months, is, uh, it's gone by real quick. Basically, it's just to come and have a look at their coaching structures and, and their pathways uh, from, from schoolboy rugby to the top. And how important is this SEC 7s for the profile of rugby in the city? Oh, it's just massive. This is the, the flagship of rugby for Singapore for so many years, and they keep turning it on, uh, regardless of what the union is doing. So, um, ECC have, have the right people in place for many years. Uh, they always turn on a, a great show. Um, and it's, yeah, we, we rode on it last year. This year, the AFRU 7s is now separated by a week. Uh, so, it's, um, we got more rugby on, on, on Singapore's doorstep. So, it's working. So, I'm here with Colonel Singh. He's the president of the Singapore Cricket Club. Colonel Singh, thanks very much for coming on the show. Thank you. Uh, tell us a little bit about the club. Okay, the club has been around for the last 161 years. We were founded in 1852. We started out with cricket, but rugby has become one of the main games. And this is our Padang, which yeah. is the principal rugby ground in Singapore. And so how important is this SEC 7s to the club in general? Well, this is very important because this is our principal competition uh, of the club yep. and we've been around for 66 years and uh, I personally played in this in 1954. <laughs> did <you? laughs> yes. How did you go? Oh fantastic, we <laughs> lost in the semi-final. Oh, wow. yes. Okay we've got a wonderful club here and we appreciate this tournament, it's great for Singapore rugby, uh, thanks for having us down here. Thank you. It's not a man in a rubbish bin, it's a penguin in an ice bath. <laughs> uh, mate, penguins don't normally operate at 32 degrees, how are you finding it here? No, it's, uh, it's a bit warm for us, um, but yeah, no, it's good, we're really enjoying it, having and a good hit out. How hot is it, mate? Oh, it's bloody hot out there, eh? Yeah. Once you get going. And uh, it's come a long way, so it must be a worthwhile trip. Yeah, it was. The boys played well, I'm proud of them. They uh, stuck it out in the heat and 
I'm pretty proud of them, eh? How are you enjoying the tournament so far? Uh, yes, thank you very much. Yeah, it must be very hot out there. Yes, very, very hot. Is this the sort of heat you experience in the winterless north back home? <laughs> nah, 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 nowhere near as humid as this up here. This is, this is something else up here. Yeah, nah, she's, uh, she's hot. Are you cold? I'm freezing, yeah, I'm not a very good penguin. Just I'm a few more questions then. <laughs> what, who are the penguins? Uh, we're an international touring side. Um, there's five English guys here, five Kiwis and two Aussies, so good mix. Uh, we've got an all-rounded young team though. A uh, few New Zealand players. Those players, they are di coming from a different club in Fiji. And those two, uh, someone boys, they are from Samoa, so we just met in uh, Aussie with them. Yeah. Well, it's a, sort of a bit of an invitational side and we're getting ready for uh, our nationals, so it's a full Northland side. Okay. Um, all born and bred boys, most of them. Yep. Otherwise they play rugby up north somewhere yep. in, in New Zealand and in, uh, in Northland. Um, we've got a young side, uh, it's an institute, so it's mostly 18, 19, 20 year olds. So it's quite a young side development for the future for yep. Western Province Rugby. We're here with Fonz from the Sunnybank Rugby Union in Queensland and they've just had a dramatic quarter-final victory over the two times winners, Devetta. Uh, how does that feel? Oh, over the moon. Yeah. You know, a lot of people didn't, didn't think we were going to get there and, uh, you know, they, they come and thinking they were going to win. We just showed up and played, you know, and keep calm. And uh, I'm just proud of all the boys, eh? It's, Speechless, eh? Speechless. Here with the captain of the Asian Pacific Dragons, a fantastic win, 43-5. Uh, how does that feel? Uh, first of all, uh, to thank the Almighty that uh, gave us a good win today and the strength and the power so we can uh, come through this tournament on this week. Is this a good tournament? You've come a long way to play here. Do you like this tournament? Uh, very, I uh, like uh, this tournament, but uh, this is the first time I came here in Singapore. But uh, I told the boys you have to enjoy our game uh, this week to take back the trophy this week. Well, thank you very much for coming to Singapore and congratulations on your win here today. Thank you. Okay. Well, there we have it. We've had a fantastic weekend here at the SCC Sevens in Singapore. We've just witnessed a one-sided final, Asia Pacific Dragons winning 43-5 against the Penguins. What a great weekend we've had here. What a great tournament this is. Join us next week in part two, where we look at the HSBC Asian Seven Series, leg four. Enjoy your rugby. Question, what are you bench pressing these days? Oh, say, oh I, haven't, I haven't done it in a while, mate. Come on, oh, I don't know, 120? 120, there we have it. Thanks very much, Vaughn. Okay, okay, last question. How much are you bench pressing these days? Only 140. <laughs> Only 140. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. And uh, uh, good luck for the rest of the tournament. Cheers, thank you very much. Do you want to get out now? Yes, please. Okay, yeah. good thank on. you. Cheers. Okay, my name is Mark Lansonneur from Singapore Cricket Club and you're watching Rugby Asia channel.